AI content automation, you can make money without ever showing your face or even using your voice. And after watching today's tutorial, you'll have all the tools in order to create your first ever talking head video. So if you wanna make money on social media, but you're not really comfortable with showing your face, or maybe you have a really strong accent that just wouldn't relate well with the English market, do not worry because this is the video you wanna watch. I'll take you through how you can set up a custom AI avatar along with a custom voice that's going to fit your specific needs depending on what niche you're in. If you don't believe me, just a look at this example on the screen right now. This is an account that has amassed over 700,000 subscribers along with millions of views across multiple videos. And at first glance, this account appears to be run by this dude right here. But in reality, the account's actually run by this woman right here who wasn't comfortable with using her own face online originally and also has a very strong accent, which she knew would hinder her in the English market. So this is verifiable proof that no matter who you are with AI generated characters, anyone can make money on social media. So let's get right into this tutorial on how you guys can do the exact same thing. Firstly, we're going to need to pick a niche for these talking head videos. I have in mind short form, so I'm thinking of niches in my head. But if you are a beginner watching this video, I highly suggest that you guys go with a niche that has very low competition. Now, there are many reasons for newbies to start out with a niche that has very low competition but ultimately the main reason is simply you have way less people to compete against so the chances that your video performs well in your niche are a lot higher and the super popular niches with the highest search results also contain the creators with the highest quality of content so your competition is going to be very tough and breaking into this niche is going to be super impossible especially if you're a beginner to content automation. Think about a popular niche like true crime. There are literally dozens of popular creators already putting out content for true crime that is super high quality, making it incredibly difficult to break into. It's true that true crime does get a lot of views on YouTube. However, unless you're doing something completely different than all of the other massive competitors in that niche, the chances that your channel is going to perform well over their videos are highly unlikely. For that main reason, I definitely recommend running with a low competition, low search niche in the best place to get ideas for those types of niches is ChatGPT. Hopefully with a simple prompt like what are unique or unknown niches in X and then fill in the blank for X for whatever you're passionate about or something you find interesting that many others might not. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to run with a niche as pets, which actually isn't really a low competition niche. However, we're going to break it down even more and we're just going to go specifically to dogs, which honestly, I don't even know if dogs is technically a low competition niche. I'd say it's maybe like medium sized, but just because this is a tutorial, we're just going to run with it. All right. So the program we're going to be using to create our AI generated character is going to be Vidnaz, which is actually the sponsor of today's video. Vidnaz specializes in creating these AI generated characters, and they probably have one of the widest variety of selection when it it comes to AI generated characters on the internet. There is literally a character for everything, but what's really cool as well is they have a custom avatar feature where you can literally upload a video, maybe of yourself recording a three to five minute video. And then Vidnaz will generate you a custom made AI character. So you literally never have to record yourself ever again. It's a pretty cool feature, but we're just going to run with one of the already generated avatars that Vidnaz supplies you. And there's over a hundred and 37 to choose from as well as the talking photo options which are also pretty popular on TikTok. I see them a lot in like story time videos so that's always an option to look into but we're really going to just focus on the talking head videos. I kind of want to replicate that example I showed at the beginning of this video as much as possible. I'm just going to scroll through all of these different options and I'm going to try and find somebody who looks like they enjoy pets or would be good for the face of of a pet channel. I guess a massive pro of using a custom avatar is that it's going to be 100% unique and no one else online is going to have the same avatar as you. There is always a potential that someone maybe chooses the same Vidnaz avatar as you on their social media account. So I guess that is something to keep in mind here. Vidnaz, AI brings your idea. Vidnaz, AI brings your idea. 
All right, so I think I have my character picked out. She's got like a nice chill vibe. She's wearing a casual type shirt. I guess it's a little dressy, but I think it's fine. It's just a tutorial at the end of the day. Now, what's great about Jania is that we can actually edit her and change her voice. So let's say we don't want her to be American. We want to change Jania to a different voice. You can actually change the accents of the voice too. So we could get an English accent. We could get Australian accent. We could get an Irish accent. Maybe you want to go with a Canadian accent accent so there's a whole bunch of different options you could go with vidnos ai brings your idea vidnos ai brings your avatars and voice all right so i think we're gonna run with nancy here i did test out a few of the voices some sound really like ai generated whereas some sound a bit more human like so this is definitely something you'd have to play around with you can also adjust the speed of these characters as well so i'm gonna go ahead and select create video with this avatar and obviously we want to do portrait here because we're gonna be making short form content now, like I stated with the text, you can add in your own text and then have the AI generated voice, which we picked Nancy, do it for you. You could also use maybe a program like Eleven Labs and then upload that voice. And the voice probably is going to sound a lot less AI generated. So this is always like an option to choose from. I'm going to go over to ChatGPT and tell it to just give me like a simple script on the three biggest dog breeds and then make that into four different scenes. Alrighty. So so this script is kind of garbage, but we're just going to run with it. If you're in the Kingdom Club, I literally have lessons about how to write a script that will make videos go viral. And this goes against everything I talk about in that lesson, but we're just going to run with it because I want to show you the capability of this AI. So in the first scene, we're just going to paste in what our script stated, and then we're going to add another scene here, and we're just going to select default. And this is just going to add our AI character again. Now I'm just going to continue doing doing the same thing as well as adding in all of the different scenes into our script here. And there we go. So our short form video is now not so short. It's about 56 seconds long, which I was talking about on why this script is just awful. So I'm just going to trim out the fat of this script and shorten it a bit just to make it a lot more passable. All right. So we just cut it down from almost a minute to 32 seconds, which is just a lot better. And now it's time to cut up this script amongst all the different scene so in scene one we just want the initial opening line and then scene two we're just going to have the second line and we're just going to keep on doing the exact same thing for each scene all right perfect so now we have scene one where it states today we're exploring the three biggest dog breeds that have captured the hearts of dog lovers everywhere and first up is a great day known as the apollo of dogs but at number two, we have the English Mastiff, a breed renowned for its massive size and loving temperament. Despite their intimidating size, they are known to be affectionate family pets, just like the last on our list, which is last but not least the Irish Wolfhound. So not a completely terrible script, definitely not something I would put out on the internet. I wouldn't deem this the uh, kingdom of approval. However, for the tutorial's sake, it's okay. We need to add some fluff to these scenes because having just the talking head is obviously going to be very boring. Now what's great about Vidnaz is that they supply you with a whole bunch of different options that you can add into your video like background, stickers, additional material and music. Now, obviously with music and stuff, we could add that in later when you go and publish on TikTok or YouTube shorts, whatever you plan to publish on. So we're not gonna worry about that so much, but what you are gonna worry about is the background. So I'm just gonna choose the same background for each video, which is this just like red brick wall, which I think looks pretty cool. And then I'm just going to add B-roll as well as images that corresponds with our video. So just like the AI explains the AI TikTok, account they use a talking head however they do add mostly b-roll to keep the videos engaging because if it was just the talking head talking it would just be boring as hell so i'm gonna go to material and then i'm gonna go to upload and with the video i selected uploaded we're just going to drag it out fills up the screen i'm gonna do a little bit of cropping here and then i'm going to drag our talking head down we have the talking head at the bottom of the screen and then the important b-roll at the top i'm gonna 
gonna do that for the remainder of the scenes. Alrighty, so now I've added in all the B-roll along with our talking head at the bottom of the video. Now you can do things like add in transitions by right clicking here, transitioning between scenes. It might make your video look better. You could also make it look more like cheesy and corny. I'm just gonna do it just to show it off. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. You can add in subtitles. Actually, I would recommend adding in subtitles. Alrighty, so I think the last thing to do is to just lower the volume on all the B-roll just because we don't want that to take away from the main girl talking. And like I stated, we're not going to add in that music because we could do that when we upload the video to YouTube or TikTok, Twitter, whatever. So now we're just going to hit generate here. And this program is very fast when it comes to generating content, which is always amazing. But I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section while we are waiting for this video to generate. Where do you think the future of AI characters are going to be on social media? There is a very real possibility that once these AI characters become extremely human-like, like undeniably human that you can't even tell the difference between a human and an AI character, I really think this is going to take over the game, which is one of the main reasons I am just trying to stay up to date as possible with what's the latest and greatest technology when it comes to AI content creation. Because whether we like it or not, this is kind of our future. And I'm just trying to prepare for it as best as possible as a content creator myself. All right. So after about five minutes of waiting, our video is finally done and you can go ahead and download it in 1080p and upload it to whatever platform you want to upload to. But let's go ahead and see how the video turned out. Today, we're exploring the three biggest dog breeds that have captured the hearts of dog lovers everywhere. And first up is the Great Dane, known So, as you can see, it's definitely not perfect. I also realized I had captions already on, so I didn't need to manually add them in. The good thing is, if you generate a video and it didn't come out how you wanted it to, you can go ahead and just select Edit, and then we can manually remove all those subtitles that I accidentally added in. And as you can see, the subtitles were already turned on there. But that's going to conclude this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.